They say never judge a book by its cover, that sometimes even the strangest things can have a simple explanation. We see the world how we want to see it. Sometimes casting judgment before we know someone or hear the full story or an event for ourselves. But sometimes instinct never lets us down and what we thought was normal turns out to be anything but normal. Today's show is the story of parties, murder, and a secret that would shatter a community when the truth was found out. The Piggy Palace, the Robert Picton story. Robert was who Robert was and his life before isn't something that is talked about that much or shared. In fact, while researching this case, his personal information, I was able to find out he was born October 24, 1949. He was one of three children. Robert William Picton and his brother David, along with their sister, owned a farm in Port Conquitlan, uh, British Columbia, which is 17 miles east of Vancouver. Something the three inherited after their parents' passing in the 1970s. A former worker called the farm a creepy-looking place and described Robert, known to those close to him as Willie, as a pretty quiet guy whose bizarre behavior at times, despite no evidence of substance abuse, would draw attention from people. However, as the city around the farm expanded, Robert sold some of the land, mostly to housing estates and shopping centers. Over time, the farm began to slowly fall apart, with the siblings no longer tending to their property. By 1996, they registered a non-profit charity, the Piggy Palace Good Times Society, with the Canadian government claiming to organize and manage and operate special events, functions, dances, shows, and exhibitions on behalf of service organizations, sports organizations, and other worthy groups. It was anything but the clean-cut society they had lied and said it would be. Raves, wild parties, and sex parties heavily fueled by drugs and alcohol took place in a converted slaughterhouse on the farm's property and its highest these parties had attracted over 2,000 people. Many included sex workers and members of Hell's Angels to name a few. While many neighbors remember him as a quiet hard-working man that worked on his farm and his side business, he was hiding a dark secret. He would often visit downtown East Side, where he would lure prostitutes with the promise of money and drugs, taking them back to the Piggy Palace for more than a wild night. In 1997, Robert picked up a prostitute and brought her back to his farm with the promise of drugs, money, and sex. It's unclear if the pair had sex or exactly when she found herself handcuffed. While handcuffed, she was stabbed and managed to disarm Robert and flee from the farm. She was found a few hours later on the side of the road covered in blood. Robert was charged with the attempted murder, but the case was dropped because the pros prosecutors felt that the victim, who was known as a drug addict, was too unstable to give an accurate testimony. It was also noted that both the victim and Robert, who suffered a stab injury during the struggle, were treated at the same local hospital, and a key to the set of the handcuffs on her wrist was found in his pocket. However, the charges were dropped, and he walked away from them. Months later, Robert and his brother were sued by officials for violating ordinances, neglecting the agriculture for which it had been zoned, and a number of other violations. The two ignored the legal pressure and held a 1998 New Year's party.
after which they were faced with an injunction banning future parties. Once this happened, the police were authorized to arrest and remove any person attending future events at the farm. After this, the Piggy Palace lost the non-profit status in the following year. Over three years, a former worker noticed that women who visited the farm went missing and were never seen again. On February 6, 2002, police executed a search warrant for illegal firearms at the property. Robert and his brother David were arrested after finding items of the missing women. Police were able to obtain a, ser- a second search warrant to search the farm again as part of the British Columbia Missing Women's Investigation. Personal items belonging to the missing women as well as strange and unusual items were found at the farm.